Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique, and I've got another Reason Rack plugin tutorial. This is video two in the series of at least five. And in this one, I'm going to show you about matrix. I'm gonna show you how to route the matrix inside of the Reason Rack plugin itself. And I'm also gonna show you how to use the matrix to trigger the sequence in the matrix on any other VSTI or virtual synth inside of your DAW. I'm gonna be using Ableton Live here, but hopefully the steps will be pretty much the same for any other DAW you're working in. So as I said in the last video, Reason does a very good job of automatically routing things for you. For example, if I come in here and jump into effects and put the reverb on here, hit tab and come back here, you'll see that my output from my synth is going into that reverb and the reverb is going right out to the output to our host. If I delete that, you can see that that has jumped just to a straight output. But if I add a matrix here, it's already loaded, it doesn't automatically route for me. And for most of the modulation type of stuff, this is the way it's gonna be. So it's good to get in here and really understand what's going on. So all we need to do is kind of look at the back panel here and see you know, if we can't figure things out just by using the titles and stuff. And I can see the first kind of column over here on subtractor says sequencer control. Well, the matrix is an analog pattern sequencer. So right off the bat, I'm kind of thinking these need to go together. So I have gate CV here, and then I have something called gate right here. So if I click right there and drag and drop, maybe I'll get something happening. So let's come back over here and just hit play on our DAW. And in fact, let me go ahead and just solo this channel. Okay, great, so it's working. So what if I come over here and make some tweaks to the actual note values of the sequencer? Okay, so nothing's happening. So let's jump back into the back and see if we can't assign this note CV to this other CV input on the sequencer control. Same process, click, drag and drop, flip back, and we're good to go. So it's that simple. When you add a matrix to subtractor, you wanna do it to the gate and to the CV for the note and the CV. There is a curve, don't worry about that if you're just trying to get started right now. Perhaps we'll cover that in a future video tutorial. It's gonna work the same way with your other instruments. Let me just drop monotone on here and you'll see that I have sequencer control, gate and CV here as well. So if I want this matrix to route to those instead, I'm gonna go gate and note to CV. you'll see that it's working the same way. So that's how to route the matrix inside of the Reason Rack. But what if I want the matrix to control a VSTI outside of the Reason Rack? It can be done. So first thing I'm gonna do is just delete these so we can stay organized. And I'm gonna come into, it's inside of Instruments, and I wanna go into MIDI Out Device. And if I flip back around here, so now I want, the MIDI to go out. So what do I wanna do here? Sequencer control once again. So again, gate to gate, note CV to CV. Flip back around and let's drag, say operator onto its own MIDI channel inside of Ableton Live. I want MIDI from the Reason Rack plugin on this first drop down menu and then I want to choose Reason Rack plugin right here. And what happens if I press play now? Look at that. If I solo it, this instrument is now following the pattern inside of the matrix sequencer inside of the Reason Rack plugin. And any changes I make here are reflected in the pattern output from operator. And it's that simple. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of how to get started getting your MIDI output from the Reason Rack plugin into your other instruments, and also how to use the matrix inside of the Reason Rack plugin itself if you're looking to use this really great classic analog pattern sequencer. Anyway, that's enough for this video about the matrix inside of the Reason Rack plugin. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit that bell notification so you'll see the tutorials come up when they come out. Anyway, I'm Joshua Casper here for Plugin Boutique. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.